Hello everyone, I am Padma. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am doing the second poem titled The Ball Poem of Chapter 3 from Class 10th Book First Flight CBSC. The Ball Poem is written by John Berryman. The poem is about a boy who has lost his ball while playing. The ball signifies a boy's innocence and happy young days. And the way in which the poet describes the boy's feelings upon losing the ball makes us feel great sympathy for the boy. The ball that was lost was the favorite ball of the boy. Let me start with the introduction. The ball poem is a beautiful poem that talks about losing something in life and then growing up accepting the loss and moving on. The poet John Berryman in his poem has beautifully described a boy who has lost his ball and through this poem has also described the reality of life which everyone has to face one day. He has touched the topic of how to stand up against the miseries and sorrows of life. The poem features every one of us in general that there are times when we lose someone or something we have to stand up and face the situation. The poet gave us a lesson that is full of wisdom. Here the lost ball stands to the loss of someone else lost due to separation from the beloved ones. Now reading an explanation of the poem. This poem has no stanzas so I will take few lines of the poem at a time and explain. What is the boy now who has lost his ball what what is he to do i saw it go merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over there it is in the water the second line i hear is the poet and the fourth line it is the ball merrily cheerful bouncing jumping up and down here is the motion of the ball Water here refers to the river. In the above lines the poem, the poet is talking about a boy who has lost his favorite ball. The poet wants to know about him and his reaction as he lost his ball. The poet talks to himself and asks, what will this boy do after losing his ball? The poet has seen the ball going away for cheerfully jumping up and down in the street as it skipped from the boy's hand and later on it fell into the water nearby river. No use to say, oh, there are other balls. An ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy as he stands rigid, trembling, staring down all his young days into the harbour where his ball went. I would not intrude on him. A dime, another ball is worthless. Now he senses his first responsibility. Intruder here means an invader who is not welcome. Grief, sadness, sorrow. Harbour is a place where ships are anchored or parked. Die 10 cents. The poet says there is no use of consoling the boy by saying that he will get another ball because he has many other balls too. But the boy is feeling very sad, completely surrounded by sorrow. He is sad because it was not just a ball but all the memories of the childhood days went down the harbor with the ball. Here, Poet says he is very sad and stares at the ball that reminds him of those sweet memories of the times when he owned it. This loss is unbearable for him and he is grief stricken. The poet says that he can't even tell the boy to take some money from him in order to buy another ball. He says the new ball will not bring the sense of belonging to the boy. Further, the poet says that the time has come for the boy to learn the responsibility of taking care of his things. The tone of the poem here is somber and sad. In the world of possessions, 
people will take balls balls will be lost always little boy and no one buys a ball back money is external he is learning well behind his desperate eyes the epistemology of loss how to stand up knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up possession here ownership external here things with which feelings are not attached desperate hopeless epistemology the greek word episteme means knowledge here the poet says that the boy has to learn that in this materialistic world many of his belongings will be lost he personifies the ball as his belongings be it the worldly things or the relationships he is in possession of so he says that he has to learn to live without them it can be things or people face a sadness himself no matter what the lie money is external says the poet here it means money can't buy your favorite thing back no amount of money can bring it back The poet feels it's useless to buy a new ball because money can't buy emotions which the boy had with the ball. It was his favorite ball, his childhood memories. The poet says no one can buy such things because according to him money can't buy everything it can buy only some materialistic things. Still these things will not be able to buy the sense of belongingness the epistemology of loss here it means he now understands what it means to lose something or someone in life the first lesson he learned is to get up after being hit by grief and sorrow he wants to become brave and face the life boldly this means that the boy is trying to learn the real truth of life which states that you have to accept the miseries of life and stand up again this is a truth which everyone has to learn in his or her life the boy poem speaker is a poet john berryman here i would like to say the the poem is about accepting the harsh realities of life and harsh truth of standing up against the odd miseries of life and move on the boy in the poem learns that there are so many things in life that are to be lost and cannot be brought back this is the message of the poem hope it was interesting about the poet john berryman was an american poet and scholar he is best known for dream songs which was a sequence of 385 poems he won pulitzer prize for the dream songs he also won national book award thank you have a great day now please note down the question answers given